What is up guys, this is Impact, and I'm here to finally talk about Sunder Spells in Patch 4.5. It has been a while, I'm sorry about uh, taking this long to finish up the uh, post-patch analysis, but uh, it was a really long patch, and once again I wanted to get the info out to you guys uh, as best as possible. And I thought the best way of doing so was to divide the uh, post-patch notes or post-patch analysis in three different videos. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So exhaust has been uh, tuned, I guess. The attacks per reduction got uh, reduced. Instead of 50% uh, attack speed uh, reduction, you, you, the enemy will now get uh, plus 30% attack speed. And the damage debuffed has been uh, increased to plus uh, to um, minus 50% damage. And range has been increased as well. So what does this mean? I, so exhaust. Exhaust was kind of iffy. Uh, if you wanted to run a uh, kill lane, um, then you'd probably go for Ignite just to finish off your opponents. Um, meaning Exhaust wouldn't uh, grant a kill as easily as Ignite, and Ignite could also be used um, defensively. If you used Ignite on an AD carry, uh, most of the times he'd just um, change his mind and uh, stop playing aggressively. Uh, so exhaust wasn't really mandatory. Uh, the cool thing about this about this change is that it's no longer completely focused on shutting down AD carries or melee AD carries. So you take exhaust when you were facing uh, an AD assassin, for instance, or uh, a Jax or something incredibly good uh, late game with a lot of attack speed, like Trinomir, Jax, uh, something like that, and. Um, or the, even the enemy AD carry. The thing is, um, it wouldn't be that useful. Of course, it would be useful on, on, on say, a Fizz, for instance, but it wouldn't be as useful because you'd still deal a lot of damage. Now, with this change, you pretty much you, you can pretty much use exhaust on um, whatever is threatening you because the, the damage debuff is now uh, a lot more powerful. Uh, you now, um, your target will now deal 50% of the damage that he'd deal if Exhaust wasn't there. So it's it's a summoner spell that's no longer directed at those specific uh, specific types of or specific targets. So it's actually more versatile now. And I really like this change uh, because most of the times whenever I play solo queue, my mid laner is fat as hell, my enemy mid laner is fat as hell, or the enemy jungler is incredibly fat as well, and uh, this will help me shut down those targets uh, a lot uh, more easily, uh, I guess. Uh, then we have the heal change, which is a really cool change. So the cooldown got um, reduced. Now, the heal... Um, it's still gonna heal pretty much this almost the same thing early game, but it's gonna be it's gonna heal for more as time goes on. Um, it's it it doesn't heal everyone in its range no more. It's it's not AOE. It's gonna heal the caster and the allied champion nearest to the caster's cursor. So it, it's almost specifically tailored for the bottom lane. Um, it removes healing reduction effects on affected champions. And affected champions gain plus 30% movement speed for, th for 2 seconds. Okay, so, it's, instead of AoE, it's now, um, it, it's now gonna affect 2 people. So, either, let's say about bottom lane, so it's gonna affect the AD carry and the support. It removes healing reduction effects. So it's no longer cancelled by a, a pre-ignite. If you had heal and some and your enemies uh, ignited you, um, you wouldn't heal for as much because the ignite has um, has a healing reduction debuff, not just the overtime damage. So that would suck. Heal would be countered by ignite, and it wouldn't give you movement speed. So heal is now a, a perfect way of actually. Um, staying alive in the lane it's not it, it doesn't have that ignite counter anymore that uh, everyone would use so you can now use it more often it's not going to heal you for more it's going to heal your support or your ad carry uh, uh, for more as well um and it's going to he uh, remove healing reduction effects going to remove the the healing reduction effect on ignite it's not going to remove the uh the damage over time per se and 
uh, it's going to increase your movement speed, so it's going to help you uh, withstand or escape from ganks, for instance. Or it can even help you chase your targets for that last hit that gives you the kill. So it's a cr really cool, um, a really cool change. The only it's not a problem. The only thing that I see is kind of iffy with this is why would you pick barrier over heal now? While barrier does give you a little bit more um, uh, HP, I guess, the heal isn't going to time out. The heal will give you um, plus movement speed for two seconds, and the heal will remove healing reduction effects. So I do think heal is kind of better than barrier now on AD carries, and you can even run it on supports. Um, if you're if you feel like the lane's not gonna be that if you're not gonna get the kill even even you can even get kills with heal now uh, to be honest uh, but it, it all comes down to your to your play style the way you want to play the lane I guess um, I'm still gonna pick ignite over most stuff I guess but whenever I'm not too confident on the lane uh, if I'm not too confident on the AD carry as well I'm probably gonna go for heal that's especially in solo queue. Um, the last thing that I wanted to point out with heal is that you could uh, get heal onto people in the bottom lane. So that's... I don't think that there's diminishing returns here. Uh, at least it doesn't say uh, there is, and I still haven't tried this out for myself. But um, if you get heal onto people, then that's plus 30% movement speed for 4 seconds. And it's going to remove ignites, it's going to heal both of you. So it could be really damn cool, um, even to run double heal uh, in, a, in a single lane. If you guys have a dual queue partner, a, um, AD carry a friend of yours, or a support friend of yours, uh, you should give um, double heal a try, even if you don't like it, even if you don't uh, feel like it's, it's that good. At least you'll know um, the effect that double heal has. So if you play against a lane with double heal, you'll know exactly what to do and what not to do. Uh, let's go for Ignite. So it now grants vision of the target while Ignited does not reveal stealth champions. This is kind of cool for... Right, so let's say you're in the bottom lane, right? And you ignite your target and your target just runs past the turret and you don't know if he's going to die or not. Um, by getting, um, by knowing uh, his HP, by, by seeing him all the time, you know, you'll know if he used barrier, you'll know if someone shielded him, you'll know if he used heal, you'll be able to time those summoner spells, um, and you can even say if your support ignites, if you say you're playing Jinx, and your support ignites your target, and he's really damn low, and you're just waiting for him to die, right? Um, but... Right, so pre-patch 4.5, you you're waiting for him to die. He doesn't die. You try to shoot your your ultimate and you miss your target. You have no idea where he went. Now what happens is if your target if your support uh, ignites your target, you'll always know uh, if he's gonna die. As soon as he pops the barrier, you know okay he's not gonna die. So I can just shoot my uh, ultimate that way because there's uh, that's where he is and get the kill pretty much. Um, so it's a cool change. Uh, it's, I don't think it's a change that Ignited needed per se, but it's still a pretty cool change, especially when Heal now re uh, removes the healing reduction effect on Ignite. It's still a pretty cool um, way of making Ignite stay relevant. And finally, we have Barrier. Pretty... It's, it's a pretty small change, but it's a cool one. Because Barrier looked exactly the same as Kel's ultimate. So if you're playing against a, a, a team comp that has a Kale in it, most of the times you wouldn't even know if the enemy AD carry used ult or if Kel used ult, and you could just lose a fight just because of it. Now the uh, barrier particle is now off-white instead of gold, so it's now easily t distinguishable from Kel's ultimate, which is a cool change. I don't know why they made it that close to Kel's ultimate in the first place but still a cool change and yeah I guess that runs that is that is it for the summary spell changes in patch 4.5 once again I'm incredibly sorry about the time that it took me to actually get this finished hopefully you won't be mad at me 
uh, that's actually why I haven't been recording with the uh, freaking uh, beanie uh, just to make it up for you get to you guys but uh, yeah that's gonna be it for now if you still haven't done so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this um, like share the video comment down below if you have anything you'd like to share uh, if you want if you want to talk to me feel free to PM me on Facebook Twitter uh, stream chat whatever and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out.